Great Debaters Contest is brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa. How do you expect to deal with illiteracy when you cannot deal with the fact that people have literally no food? With political stability, we will have political development, social development, my people. We need to over-rely on the foreign languages since we don't have an African language. We have experienced xenophobia attacks in Africa. Are we going to say that people started killing each other just because of climate? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Great Debaters Contest, the highlights. We're giving you the inside take on two regions, Kisumu and Nairobi. Over to you, Mario. Okay, gentlemen, let's start with the motherland. Nairobi was ground zero for the Great Debaters Contest. We have been here the longest, five years if I'm not wrong. Do you feel like the quality of debate in Nairobi is increasing or have we plateaued? Have we just reached a stagnant point? Minor. Well, Nairobi has always been um, this region that has always had surprises. Time and time again, we've never had a constant lead in terms of a team that has always remained the constant top in terms of the regions. Interesting enough, we had uh, you know a school that no one expected would top up the region, you know, coming forth. And Ofafa Jericho just did a marvelous job wherever they are. Kudos. But we can't forget, of course, the the girls from Kenya High who also fought very hard. Of course, they were second. But, um, you know, there's always a way that it's not about the name, it's all about the game that you bring on the table. Um, well, in terms of participation, I, I, I love the fact that Nairobi has never disappointed. They always come in great numbers. And it was a tough one for us as judges because most of the schools were good. They prepared, they know what debate means, and they brought in the seriousness that debate deserves. So it was one amazing time that we had, you know, uh, and sitting down there as a judge at times, it's purely learning from these guys. Mm -hmm. And Major, as a judge, is Nairobi perhaps the hardest region sorry, to judge? The opposite. I think mm -hmm. Nairobi is the easiest region to judge. Okay. Reason being, I mean, we have a cocktail of styles mm -hmm. and we are not just looking at the basics, you know. Uh, we look for the meat of the debate and the meat, meat of the debate here is content analysis and as Judge Maina has alluded to and actually explained we are talking about the Kenya High School, we are talking about Ofafa Jericho and there are others actually, we are talking about uh, Lenana School, I, I, I mean I can't miss to mention the name because of Austin and many other schools that have brought their A games. So uh, I find it difficult to judge a region when you do not have a marking scheme because a debater just comes on stage and speaks for three minutes, then takes his or her seat. But at least Nairobi region, they understand the format of debate. They understand the ABCs of debate. And therefore, it becomes easy. You know, when you look at content, you look at style, those things become easy to address. Uh, talking about the Kenya High, I think they brought in something new to the debate. And uh, we're talking about the cookies scenario during the, during the regional debate. And I think it was exciting. I brought cookies. No, seriously. I brought cookies. Now, I want you to look past the pastries and your hunger at this point in time, and I want to show you, this is a unitary government, and this is a devolved government. I've just demarcated a few boundaries, a few boundaries, but hey, it's still a cookie. This is Kenya, and this is still Kenya, and I think it pretty much tastes the same. Yeah, still a cookie. I've never under tried to understand devolution in, times, in terms of food. I mean, Talk about food, maybe Mina might understand evolution in terms of food. But, no, but we only talk about the national Mina. cake. Yeah, but, but you see, not in terms of cookies. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. Maybe because Judge Mina will eat the national cake, but it's okay, let's continue. Okay, <laughs> thanks, uh, amen. <laughs> okay, please. They brought something that is close to our hearts, and that is food. You see, devolution can be abstract, it can be a very complicated thing to understand, but the Kenya High School understood what we need. They are speaking to adolescents, and to the adolescents, food is very close to their hearts. So what do you do? Explain devolution in terms of food. And I think to us as judges, we credited them because they explained a complicated concept in terms of what we, we can easily understand. Ofafa Jericho, awesome. I remember that was the time when the President of the United States of America, Barack Obama, was visiting our country. And I loved what they did. They try to understand the happenings around, the beautification of the city. Kenya is busy 
putting up uh, CCTV cameras along Mombasa Road. Why Barack Obama is coming? Neocolonization. And they could incorporate that into their debate. And that was brilliant when I think it was Stephen talked about neocolonialism, this aspect of sweeping the city, the, the city streets clean of the street archings and, you know, basically the incorporation of whatever thing was happening in our society into the motions was brilliant. And Lenana School, as you have mentioned, the pastor, the bishop, the, the, the church scenario, that was brilliant again. I'd rather you refer to me as Father Blackie, because I am not only here to oppose this motion, but I am also here to preach the gospel behind the opposition. As Father Blackie has said, he has given you the preaching and I the choir master. Kuna panya kubwa kwa jikoni, inatumalizia nyama. Being a faithful disciple of this particular ministry, I'm also here to strongly oppose this motion. So Nairobi region is rich, it's packed, yeah. It's always so hard to steer a conversation away from food when it comes to the three of you, especially major and minor. Oh, yeah, but oh, Austin, yeah, oh, yeah. what uh, as food aside, what was your standout uh, school in Nairobi? <laughs> I know what you'll say, but oh, I have to ask yeah. anyway. True, true, true. So before I say, can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Uh, Lenana, wherever you are, you amazed me, you entertained me. I was, I was moved. I'm really moved. Uh, but you moved me. They had creativity yeah. as in that's if creativity needed a definition the dictionary needs their their school logo because they just came in and brought something we've never seen before something fresh something that just had you like who's the next one what role is he going to play and that is even is actually putting into context the the roles of the debate of the, sorry of the debaters puts into context those roles and the tricky part is that they made it their own you know, and it's rare that you find de debaters that come in and they own their roles. Like, you wouldn't expect the third speaker to be the first speaker because we've heard from the judges that give comments like, "No, we'd prefer that the first speaker was the third speaker." Or, but in this case, it just flowed purely, and that that is also a testament to teamwork. So for me, Lenana, you won despite the fact that you weren't the ones who topped the region, but you were my winners. Very interesting standout elements. Of Ofa Jericho, of course, blew us away. I mean, we really weren't expecting it, but, you know, debate is all about the unexpected. I think we can all attest to that. So, gentlemen, if there was anything that you would like the other regions to learn from Nairobi, not borrow, you know, we don't want uh, copycats or whatever, but we'd like to see them borrow something, or at least, you know, if there's a takeaway from Nairobi that you could take to any other region, what would it be? I think I'll start with Major. Content mastery. I think you can't compare Nairobi with other regions. We've visited other regions and largely our judging is centered on mastery of content, referencing your, your sources. You know, those are the problems that you encounter in other regions. But come to Nairobi, content analysis is awesome. Styles, again, is awesome. In fact, Nairobi, we have a cocktail of styles. With me here is a paper that was done last year. And since this is a debate session, I believe we are all very accustomed. You go all have the hang of history, whether you dropped it or not. This is just but an example. You know, just, just a conglomeration, so to speak, of styles. And that's what makes Nairobi region top. Okay, we may say that Nairobi is, advant uh, is advantaged in one way or the other because of access to resources, uh, maybe internet connectivity. But I think other regions can also, are also as well connected. So we should not have a problem. Uh, with research, I, I bet, in the coming season, because uh, that's the biggest problem that we are having with other regions, and that's why we mark them down most of the time. So if there is a takeout from Nairobi region, constant, uh, content mastery and style of presentation. All of us know what you want to say, but how you say it is what matters a lot. So th there is an English word, idiosyncrasy, or is it idiosyncrasy? You know, something that is unique, a behavioral attribute that is unique to you. That is what we want when you come to debate. Don't try to be somebody else. Of course, you can learn from your, your competitors, but that unique thing that makes you unique, bring it to the table. Okay. Maina, what would you like to see taken from Nairobi and uh, taken countrywide, so to speak? You know, picking from what my colleagues just put it across, mm -hmm. it's the originality that comes out of, you know, the debater. It is a statement that says that who you are is more important than what you do. Because what, I mean, who you are informs what you do and how you do it. Mm -hmm. And I think in Nairobi, we see a great deal of people who know that they were born debaters. 
whether they discovered that over time or something of that sort, I don't know. But what stood out all across is the level of you know, public speaking. If there was you know, levels to measure, mm -hmm. it was just on another level because the way we stood there or sat there listening, it was captivating all through. We didn't have sessions where we said, oh my, when will these guys end or something of that sort. Um, it was constant in its own self. And I think it's purely a lot of practice because public speaking, you have to practice these things where you have to inculcate the non-verbal and, and the verbal. And that simply means for the teams that were there, they took the training very seriously. And I think the patrons as well didn't take it for granted to ensure that they have the best of the best. Um, the other thing that also stood out is that the patrons came knowing very well they're going home as the victors. <laughs> and so to all the students that were participating, they knew we are taking the day. In fact, it was not predictable who was going to win that day. And so it was a surprise as well for many. You know, I can't forget the fact that, um, you know, the former, you know, giants, uh, that Strathmore School as well, came, came very ready. You know, in fact, they had two of the participants were just uh, former debaters. So they expected, you know, we is, we're now still going to have the title. But to their surprise, they were hit hard. <laughs> so was it, hit it's hard. Oh, was Mariam was hit hard. <laughs> yes, My feelings course. were Valiant. hit hard. I made it. That's now you see, you see, so the and we can't forget schools like LCVR, St. George's, and the rest of the schools that participated as well. They brought in their best. Mm -hmm. And so, to, to sum it up, I would say, what stood out for me? Mm -hmm. It's just the art of speaking, mm -hmm. public speaking in itself. And that's what I think my colleague was trying to allude when he said it's the style. Mm -hmm. It was just amazing. They were unique. Everybody brought their own uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Very captivating. And maybe to add something, if you want to debate, don't do so to please the judges. You're going to miss the point. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, Ofafa Jericho, they were debating to enjoy themselves. Yes. You know, they were comfortable with the stage. Think about Lenana School. Mm -hmm. they didn't, I, I doubt if they had the judges in mind. You know, am I pleasing Judge Maina? Am I pleasing Judge Nas? That was not their, their, their thing. To them, they came to enjoy themselves. And believe you me, once you enjoy yourself, the person listening to you will also enjoy your presentation. And that's the problem we are having with other regions. You know, when a debater comes on stage, you are so rigid, you've put on a mask. You know, sometimes it's just peel back the mask. Of course, not the book. Uh, but just peel, peel the mask and be yourself and debate, and that will be impressive. Yeah. I think for me, the standout thing with Nairobi is always the characters, you know. That we have, we've gone throughout the country, we've seen such great debaters from everywhere, but Characters from Nairobi sometimes tend to stick. So I, I, I know that's difficult to export, but there's people you cannot forget. I mean, so many years later, I still remember people like Farah Madlim, Mohammed from Light Academy, Valiant from, from Strathmore, you know, they're always such standout characters and we'd love to see more from every part of the country. So we don't just say, you know, the great debater title is, is reserved for someone from Nairobi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is it safe for us to say that, um, the, the same way that we say, art for art's sake, that we should sometimes or always subscribe to debate for debate's sake. What do you think? Always. <laughs> you know, because if, if, you, if you tailor your argument, this is just speaking as a former debater, if you tailor your argument towards a specific person or, you know, a specific, uh, like a judge or, or perhaps the audience, you tend to miss the point, you know? Debate for the sake of argument's sake, for the sake of making coherent argument, uh, supporting whatever side it is you've been given, and I believe the rest will come as a byproduct of that. You have to run in life. If you cannot run, you have to walk. If you cannot walk, you have to crawl. Mobile money has proven once and again that it can be efficient and it has worked in Kenya. In these slums, I'm talking from experience, the hygiene is pathetic. Affirmative action seeks to compensate for historical injustice of a given people. Climate change will lead to the increased interest in alternative energy. Africa depends on agricultural activities. When industries grow, we have employment. A democracy is the best way to rule a country. Now, Judge Minor, we took you to the lakeside city, Kisumu, the region, yeah? So tell us, what, what moved you? 
Luangni, you know that place? You're going to put fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. You trust Luangni Judge Hotel. Minor to be moved from yeah. one place to another for food. Food. <laughs> no. and don't, but it's don't the characteristics it. of all living things. It's fine. I, I think there's something about that fish that makes those guys better speakers yeah, like never before. because It's rich in omega-3 and yeah, 6. They don't touch is. it. There's no GMO on it. You know, it's exactly. just full. The way it Fresh from the lake. Yeah. You deal with it true, as it is, true, you know? True. Now, straight to the debate? Yeah, <laughs> straight to the debate. Fine. <laughs> But I must say thanks to those guys. If, if we the ever, next time I'm coming, the next time I have to pass through. Oh, if mine ever to manages to give we, a we comment without to talking we about have, food, we have I'm giving him a medal. emotion about food, like seriously, not not on a, on a macro scale, but on a micro scale, like food. I'm sure Judge Mina, you'll have some bias, just uh, as a warning. Yes, <laughs> yes. The next time we go to Kisumu, don't forget to go to Luangni. <laughs> okay, I have to right. say that. It's anyway, free product placement, product placement, it's fine. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell us what moved you. Well, I was moved in a way because I, I, I discovered that I, I, I forgot a very important gadget in Nairobi. Okay. Let me call it a book, not a gadget. Sure. I forgot a dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I was going to Kisumu. <laughs> okay. Well, you, you can know, download it. I, the teams there. A different generation. Of <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. True, true. We have online yeah. dictionaries. Yeah, like we have respect my age. You know? Yes, 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 yes. You know, I saw you debate the other day. Okay, now. <laughs> um, As we were. Mastery of language. Awesome. Those guys have content. I mean, they have language on another level. I don't know where these words come from. Uh, the gentlemen and the ladies there have an exceptional style of language in terms of how they speak. And, uh, you know, you, you're left sometimes thinking, what did you just say? I, and sometimes I had to consult, uh, you know, like Judge yes, Booker. Course, Judge Booker, that's her home ground. Of course. And she was flowing very fast, <laughs> so she, had, she, she was helping me so much uh, through the debates. But um, I really enjoyed the, uh, the elements of the, that uniqueness. And um, of course, we also had a lot of talent. Some of the best musicians, musicians we saw <laughs> were, were from Kisumu yeah. as well. Looking at all the regions, uh, Kisumu as well was somewhere, you know, where I would say could be uh, categorized in the region that did not disappoint. However, I, I would have to say that comparing to some, uh, like the region we just discussed about Nairobi, in terms of just the element of the style of presentation, mm -hmm. if those guys worked on that all across the teams, mm -hmm. they would fly high. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I just have to ask this major, it's your, it's your home ground, yeah? We call you Mr. Miranda. <laughs> The big words Mina is talking about, the fact that he needed a dictionary, I, I just have to ask, is it a diversionary tactic? Is it, um, let me bombard you with big words and then confuse you and at the end of the day you'll be like, wow, but then I really didn't say much. Was it just a smokescreen? Could it have just been a smokescreen? Okay, uh, before answering your question, Mariam, mm -hmm. I think the fish was nice. Uh, I, I've got to say to go that. There. Yes, <laughs> the fish, Longney Hotel, it was awesome, it's fine. and I enjoyed the fish. Can't talk about Kisumu without talking about the lake and the fish hosting. <laughs> I know you, are, you come from Mombasa, yeah, so mm. that might oh. be mm. my tamper. Kisumu region, it was awesome, and as mine actually said, there was uh, the level of mastery of language was just impressive. But there's something about debate. Uh, you must be accessible as a debater, and the moment you you're obscure you block your listeners. The aim of debate is communication, like any other form of communication. And once you're not communicating, then no matter how impressive you are in terms of your language, then people might not listen to you. We do say uh, that some of the best writers in history, they use simple and straightforward English. You know, think about Shakespeare. We don't remember Shakespeare because of Mark anything. Twain. Yeah, think about Mark Twain also. You know, Shakespeare we remember to be or not to be, that is the question. And, you know, it's a common statement that everybody mentions. But look at its grammatical composition. Is it that, you know, high diction? There is no high yeah. diction. You know, everyday diction that we use. So important thing about debate is not, you know, building that smoke screen in a way that you're not accessible to impress the people without really them uh, getting what you're talking about. Content is very important. But that is not to say all the debaters. You know, we had a number of debaters and a number of schools which are quite impressive. Maranda High School, you know, beautiful debate. Uh, to me, they stood out because of the beautiful elements of debating. And also styles. I've always uh, alluded to Caswell of Maranda High School, the second speaker, and the fact that... Uh, he has something about him that you can't really... Straight from the pre-visits, from the workshops. Exactly, yeah. straight from the workshop. He has confidence, you know. He doesn't fear the stage. In fact, it's almost like the stage fears him because when he's almost walking to the stage, you don't know what to expect. Beautiful debater. And also the fact that he's quite sat uh, satirical, you know.
he loves satire. He's extremely satir- Exactly. I, I remember him telling the opponents, you know, don't bring to don't, don't bring to the motion a, a $10 uh, argument, a 10 cent argument on our $10 motion. To my opponents, here you have come and given us a 5 cent argument on a $10 motion that a cashless economy is most definitely the best stimulus to economic growth. You know, just attitude. And I've always said attitude is very important in debate. You know, try to knock off your opponents. You know, try to intimidate them. Intimidation is the rule of the game here. And you'll actually win. So you keep the rhythm if you can, of course. And you can't forget Luak girls. For us students to operate mobile accounts, we'll have to be ready to bear the operational disruptions that come with the mobile operation accounts. Something about Kisumu, it was also a learning experience because it was a virgin ground that we were exploring for the first time. And you know, there is this mentality that I come from this school and I can't lose. And I want to appreciate the girls of Luak girls because at one point they really had a problem conceding defeat, you know. But with the time, they, they came to master their emotions and concede and see this is about debate, this is a competition, and there is a winner and there is a loser. So in case we lose this time round, next time we shall win. And we have seen that a lot in Nairobi. You know, schools that have lost, they bet. Next time they come, they are better off. So the Kisumu region was a learning experience. There was variety. There was a lot that we can actually say about the region. Actually, Judge Major, on what you've said, we actually got to experience the emotional investment students and schools in particular got to actually put in yeah. into the contest. Mm -hmm. And it's, just, it's actually important to actually highlight the fact we should accept defeat. Yeah. And we should know that, as you said, where, that, where I come from doesn't really matter. It matters how we actually perform mm -hmm. during the debate itself. Exactly. And, and, and the important thing here is that when you go to debate, it gives us an, a level play field. You know, uh, no matter where you come from, the school, the home you come from, level play field. And that's when you learn that outside here, there are people who know more than you know. An African proverb says that uh, a child who has not traveled always thinks the mother is the best cook. But if a child decides to travel, then he will realize that they are better cooks than the mother. And this is all about the great debaters contest. You know, you think that I'm a good debater because I come from this school or this home. But when you are given the podium, the GDC podium, then your eyes are open. You realize, wow, I never thought uh, this can come out of this particular place. But that's the beauty of it all. So Kisumu was a, a wonderful experience indeed. Uh, if you had to rate it out of 10, what would you give Kisumu, Austin? 1 to 10. Me? Yes, I yes, you. Of course. Oh. No, the Austin behind you. 1 to 10, I'd give Kisumu 5.5. 5.5. That's very accurate. Mm -hmm. Why? I'll just give a 0.5 for the patron. Why is it accurate, Mario? Accurate? No. It's, it's, it's just, most people Specific. would give a round number. Yeah, ah, okay. Yeah, I would say five, six, point the five point five is... Yeah, it's for okay, the, for let the me patron. Say it was, yeah, it was specific. Yeah. Okay. Judge, judge, judge Minor. Minor. What's you usually don't give point five, so don't try and jack my swag. Um, I give them a six. Mm -hmm. I give them a six. And uh, the reason because I believe uh, the next time they will get a higher note, because now they know. Mm. Yes. Indeed. Major? All right, if 5.5 was accurate, then I'll try 6.27. I mean, that would be more you accurate. You just picked a random number. No, we're not See? going to take that seriously. 6.27. That Walk means, us through your number. That means anything beyond 6 will be acceptable. Now, this is the thing about... 10 is beyond 6. Oh, anything beyond 6 and less than 7 okay. will be acceptable. This is the thing about Kisumu region. They have the language. Uh, and once you have the language, then you are on the path of being a good debater. And also there was fair level of research done. But what was lacking was the style. You know, we are moving from this traditional form of debating, British parliamentary system of debating, to this GDC format of debating. And I think a number of people are used to Mr. Speaker, sir. And a number of us are also just used to airing your views without really considering your style of presentation. It's not all about uh, what you say. Most important is how you say it. And I think that is what Uya Kisumu is missing it, how they put across their points. They have the points, but the style, the, the, that the added factor is not there. So 6.23 will not be bad for me. Okay, that's not yeah. bad. I think you're, just, you're trying to remind them that it's, it's more important to get the, their point across than to worry about the formalities and the tiny nuances. Yeah. Well put. It's the how, not yeah. the what. Yes, it's the how, not the what. Okay. I, I must uh, commend Luak girls. I think it is very hard for them to, you know, concede defeat, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, it took a session, an extra session, especially with Judge Booker, 
so to convince them and give them a few hugs and so and for but them look, to accept we'll see that, you next you know. this year yeah this and year. i believe you know that pain is still within them mm -hmm. and so they shall come out uh, yeah absolutely they should yeah change that energy to yeah. winning is it yeah. yeah and so we believe that uh, you know bring your a game block girls yeah. but that does not mean that the other schools can't it's always getting ready as a, as we have seen surprises always and by the way it's some of the so called i don't i'm not fond of this term but small schools mm -hmm. i don't know which which how we are rating schools but some of the schools that we don't hear more often than not uh, they surprised us and that's the beauty of it all i think i saw a number of schools that came to the gdc stage and they pulled a surprise and that's the impressive thing about it you know we should not fear debating because you are going to debate against the school one time it happened in Nairobi when you know some debaters came they were paired and they said we can't debate because we can't debate against this school they're too big for us too big for us I, I think that mentality we should kill it you know we are all equal we wear the same uniform go through the same curriculum speak the same language study the same set books in school and therefore it makes us equal so the impressive thing about Kisumu are those schools that maybe might not really be in the limelight public limelight that came out and debated quite well that was impressive I think we can end Kisumu Redra. Yeah, Kisumu, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for paying attention to our inside take. Democracy is a government for the people, by the people, and with the people. The rate of HIV spread and the people living in, in, with HIV in Africa are more. The loans that the youths are given, you have to have a project. It will increase creativity. It is obvious that in any developing nation, what helps in economic growth is constant saving. You've had all it takes to make this show great. I am Austin Yumbok. And I am Mariam Bishar. Catch us tomorrow for more highlights from all over the country. Contest was brought to you by Safaricom Mpesa.